Well, we've just come back from a whole lot of fishing, mostly in really cold weather, so we decided to build a fire and do some inside work today. And what I want to go over are some of the principles that we went through in the first DVD uh, and expand upon that. I want to go over some predaceous theories about why the fish do what they do and just some basic background to why we fish the type of flies we do and the, the style I do and, and what, what triggers really big fish. First and foremost, there's, there's a few first. things that have to come together when yeah, you're going to find yeah. these really big fish. First, there's a good degree of luck. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that have to play out. First, you have to have big fish in the river you're fishing. Virtually any river that has a trout in it has some big fish in it, but you really, you know, you've got to be there when the fish are there. The fish has got to be willing. That's, that's an enormous part of the uh, equation. We fished some of the best rivers in the world in the last two weeks, and the fish weren't always willing. And that's, that's a big part of it. There's no magic. Oh, Fatty, coming in. Coming in hot. <laughs> Wind River fish aren't hot at all. Oh, look at that guy. Hand lining 101. I got Missing it. with the net, 102. Oh, fiasco. <laughs> Uh, got him. That is a nice fish. Probably a five, six pound rainbow. Yeah, I would guess. Woohoo! Wind River, Look baby! At that. Take a dive! Woohoo! But once the, you're at the place where the fish are, and you've got the big fish, and you've got the right fly, things start adding up for you. You're going to make this happen on purpose, not by mistake. A lot of people have gone out, huh? thrown a fly, and you get I lucky. Get the key is can you repeat that nice process? Boat. Can you consistently Ooh, bring the biggest fish up in the river? What we're going to try to do is show you the, the best Ooh, technique pig, to maximize know? the possibility of you getting that really yeah, trophy you know? fish. And what I want to go through in the beginning of this is why why we use what we use because there's a certain size of fish that becomes predaceous when a fit and that changes in every river i mean some rivers it might happen at 18 inches where they become almost con completely carnivores where they're eating meat almost exclusively and in some rivers it might be 24 5 inches you never know what it is it has to do with the food base that's in the river and so what you're looking for is something that will trigger these really big fish. When a fish becomes predaceous, when it becomes a meat eater almost exclusively, let's just say it's somewhere in that 20 to 24 inch range, they pretty much just start looking for little fish. Little fish, crayfish, mice, ducklings, anything that happens to go by. That's when they become really meat eaters and you've got to change your techniques to adapt to what they're doing. So the predaceous part of that when the fish does become a meat eater, many things change. The fish do not eat all day like little fish do. They can be triggered into eating. That's what we're gonna talk about is triggering a response from a predaceous fish. But for the most part, they change the way they do things. They become very nocturnal early and late, you know, early in the day, late in the day when they come out and move. And unfortunately, most of the time when we're fishing, that's not when they're feeding actively. That's why you have to understand that you can actually trigger one of these fish to eat. It's not sitting there just taking in nymphs the way a, you know, a, a juvenile fish or even a, a nice fish, an 18, 20 inch fish is. What they're looking for is a big bite. I uh, mounted a fish for a guy once back in, I don't know, it's probably 10 years ago. It was about a 12 pound brown. It had five rainbows in its stomach and the smallest one was 11 inches long. That's a fish that wants something to eat. So to trigger that response out of a fish that size, it's pretty hard to do with a small fly. When they become predaceous, they're looking for something that's gonna satisfy their appetite once. They don't wanna eat five times a day. If you find one that's wanting to eat five times a day, good for you because it's virtually impossible not to hook up on a fish like that. But for the most part, what I want to go over is triggering a predatory response. That's when you go in, you've got a set up fish, and he's really not looking to eat. You go in, smack down a fly, 
and you try to scare the fish basically, you're not really scaring a predator because not really, there's nothing in the river that can really scare the fish. You're going to slap the fly down, you're going to run the fly away, and you're going to try to trigger a response from the fish that he really wouldn't do otherwise. It's super exciting as you'll see in some of the video. Uh, I mean, even if you don't get the fish, it's super exciting. The biggest fish we saw in this, I did not get. I rolled a fish that was close to 30 inches on the Wind River, and I mean, I was still talking about it that night at dinner. It's something that never leaves you. Right it's there, it's a huge male brown. Oh my God, that was a monster. That fish was closing 30, dude. He's right there. Came up, swirled it, and just didn't get it. It's something that never leaves you. It's an exciting way to fish. It's something that you cannot duplicate in any other style of fishing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the flies. I'm gonna show you the retrieves. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of places where we went to fish these styles. But the thing to remember is, is there's not one thing that's gonna change. A lot of this is just a lot of hoof work. You've gotta put your time in. This is trophy hunting. This isn't hunting for a 20 inch fish. Not that there's anything wrong with a 20 inch fish. This is hunting for a 10 pound fish. If you could do it every day, there wouldn't be any left. Carpent toad! Carpent toad! Coming ashore, Gino. Is this anchor you said works? Yeah, it does. It ain't releasing. I got you. Come on, fatty. That'd be the fish. Oh, look at this stud. He's all in his Halloween costume. Nice, nice work, sir. Look at that, Toady. Streamer Alicious. Purpin Toad in his face. Look at that thing. Oh,